Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, it's a giant. Oh. What is happening y'all? Welcome back to another episode of A Men's Fishing. Today we are gonna take out the paddle board on our maiden voyage. This is a Live Water Sports L2 fish paddle board and is a catamaran haul that is designed for a motor of up to, I believe, five horsepower. I'm powering mine with a Suzuki two and a half horsepower and my setup, I'm just gonna walk you through it pretty quickly is I have this plate on the front, which I can place things on to balance it. I have my big live well, which helps distribute the weight evenly. I have my Yeti cooler as my seat my two rod holders, and then I have my power pole blade stick that goes right through the hole on this plate. We're gonna go out there and catch giant fish on top water today. That's the name of the game. That's literally all I wanna do. So I, I'm gonna catch some live bait and have some mullet out in the back and stuff as well. But the name of the game is just catch a bunch of fish. All right, we have bait and with our bait secured, I'm actually gonna move the paddle board by hand to where I wanna fish, but I don't wanna stand there because I wanna be in the trough and I don't wanna get eaten. <laughs> so it's a huge drop off. As you can see here, I'm about halfway up to my knee and I'm slowly creeping. See, now there's a hole, I'm in my knee and then this is where it starts to get real deep. So being that, like I said, there really are a lot of black tips around. I don't wanna be in the water with a live mullet with black tips around me. Just doesn't sound like a good time. So I'm gonna keep moving this guy out to right about here. And we're in. And then I'm gonna hop on her and drift the mullet. Yeah, I'm like, oh, it's way steep. We don't want to be way steep. I'm gonna drift this guy right into this channel. Right around the piling. Right where I can get extra screwed. There's so much competition, I almost feel like my time might be better spent finding areas with less and not fishing the heart of it all because there's just endless freaking mullet. But Occasionally, you know, like during the mullet run, I fish schools of thousands and I still get bit because when these fish are on the mullet, man, they're so aggressive. There's just so much. And I'm honestly not seeing too many feeds, so. I'm seeing more feeds out. That's the edge of the Indian River Channel. Like there's one's getting chased right there, actually. I don't, I don't know if I'm ballsy enough to go right to the edge. We're talking about, you know, two to 16 feet drop off. And then once the day gets going, lots of boat traffic. Plus this is an area you literally cannot get to by boat. It's extremely difficult. It has to be like a king high tide. And because of that, I wanna to try to, you know, leverage the fact that I have a motor and a paddle board that made it easy to get here. I'm gonna move myself into the channel with my paddle. And then maybe try to drift fish. The problem with drift fishing, drift fishing in the paddle board is if I get one, well, I think we all know how difficult that would be, especially if it's big. He's just gonna tug me right into the rocks. Wow, I anchored down well. Let's just gently paddle. See, I don't even think those are big either. I would chase them, but I just don't think they're big. 
Huge shout out to today's sponsor, FanaticFishing.com. Fanatic Fishing is a new site that is bringing instructional videos all about fishing to the palm of your hand. I made one all about topwater fishing that is over an hour in length and talks about everything that I use with my spooks, my rods, my reels, how I present them, why I present them that way, what I'm targeting, how to target what fish with what cadence. Ryan Mori made one all about pure fishing that I actually watched and it was freaking incredible. I learned so much and my good friend Mikey made one about bass fishing basics. He has an awesome channel called Tackle to the People. Tons of amazing and exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Go check them out. Picked up the spook, gonna go fish more, um, more isolated areas with less bait. There's just too much competition right now. And the fish are not like fired up. It's not like they're blitzing on more, like going crazy or anything. Because if they were, I would obviously keep fishing this area, but they're just not. I'm trolling this one out back. I'm a little sketched out for if it gets hit. Drag's really loose. I mean, not really loose, because I typically fish a tighter drag than most people, but pretty freaking loose. I wish I could see a big snook or jack cruising. I saw some yesterday on the maiden voyage, and I was just testing it out. I really wasn't trying to fish. Probably shouldn't troll because that freaking osprey was trying desperately to eat my spook. That would be not fun. Ugh, smells like a museum here, guys. So much bird poop. This is a protected area because it's a critical wildlife area. There's a snook, pretty nice snook, nothing crazy. Let's see if it'll eat the spook. I just lost sight of it. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, it's a giant. That's a freaking giant, dude. That's a freaking giant. He's completely around the freaking piling. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is ridiculous. I don't know if he's still hooked or not. He's still hurt. Oh my God. I definitely have to get in the water for this one. Ugh. So freaking big. Come on, dude. Oh, that's a freaking 40. That's way over 40. Stop pulling me. I want to get you on land, dude. 
This is ridiculous. My God, there's some under him. I turn her again. Oh. What a hot freaking mess, dude. I'm gonna have to just grab her. I just don't want to. I didn't bring my freaking fish grips, dude. She's hooked so good, though. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. Bro. That is a freaking giant. Dude, that is a freaking log, dude. Just lost my freaking paddle. <sighs> oh my god, dude. A bent spook in the corner of the freaking mouth. That is a 42 inch snack if I've ever seen one. Sorry if the camera's dirty. I think you guys saw chaotic that actually was. So let me. I'm just gonna hold her up and revive her. All right, guys. There it is. A freaking absolute mega on the freaking paddleboard, dude. I mean, this fish has to be 42 all day. I have a measuring thing here in like 23 plus 18, yeah, 41. So there she is. Let's get a freaking release. There's Big Bertha on the freaking A-Bend spook. What a freaking toad, dude. What a freaking toad. Oh my God. Wow, that was hectic. I'm just letting her sway in the current. <sighs> kind of want to bring her to shore and do a better revival. Let's see what I can do. All right, y'all, I was able to get her to shore and uh, she's kicking now. So I'm gonna show you guys her one more time. One more time. And then big girl's gotta go. But there she is, guys. A freaking unit on the paddleboard, on the spook. So now we're gonna get a nice release. It's a little sketchy with the sharks, but like I said, she's already kicking, dude. Check this out. Look at that, dude. Look at that beast, dude. Look at her go. I'm gonna keep following her. She's good. She's off. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat that. So if you don't subscribe for that, a freaking 41 and a half inch, 20, 25 pound snook on top water on a paddle board with all that chaos, what do I have to do? Subscribe for the inshore goat, come on guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. 